can you explain the entry criteria for user acceptance testing so what are the criteria it should meet to start the user acceptance testing that is the question here the, for this how you should answer is to perform a uit first of all the business requirement should be clear using those business requirements some application sh should have developed already so once that de development is done when the application is ready then there should be a unit testing should be done integration should be already done system testing is already done there is no priority one and priority two when we are going to complete our system testing or a regression testing there are no blockers from the testing perspective and there is no blocker from the testing perspective then testing team will sign up from their point of view and they will hand it over to the user acceptance testing team once the sign off is done that is where the uat team will pick up the the new build which is tested by the testing team and they will try to deploy it in a different set of uh, test environment or a production like kind of a test environment where they will pump the simulated uh, test data which is more of a customer related data and they will try to create environment and they get ready for testing the user acceptance testing so when we have all these aspects then only user acceptance testing will start if any of these entry criteria is not met if any of these whatever i just discussed if any of these parameters are not met then user acceptance testing will never start ends in order to start a user acceptance testing this all these entry criteria should be completed successfully so next question is explain the exit criteria for the user acceptance test so let us understand what are those criteria the first criteria would be we should ensure user acceptance team should ensure no p1 and p2 which are no critical defect should be open all business requirements works as expected this is the second criteria third is there should be a meeting should be set up with the, all the stakeholders where they will be discussing with every stakeholders on the progress of uat if there is any blocker they should highlight also in those meetings and ensure those ensure that all those blockers all the issues especially icvt issues should get fixed and once everybody come into the consensus that now we are good to go good to deliver this piece to customer then only the uat team will sign up and they will give it to the customer if all these parameters are completed then only we will say the uat testing is completely done